everybody. Hello. It's a uh, building from 1950s, I think, something like that. But it used to be an old refrigeration plant, so the top three stories don't have any windows. So come on. That is fucking creepy as hell. And if you even come over here, you can see the drops of all the stories. Because that has some great lighting. Oh yeah, it's flooded down there. You can see the water table and whatnot. Yeah. Yeah, this place is pretty scenic. <laughs> oh, I think this stairs is the ones that go all the way up. Yeah, so right now we're looking at an elevator shaft all the way from the top, it looks like. Straight down to the bottom. Yeah, you can still see the tracks for the elevator. Yeah, you can still see an elevator. Right there. Destroyed. All yeah. the cables. Try and get the cable shot of the cables, yeah. I can only imagine if someone was on that. Oh yeah. The elevator shafts in the north are over scary too. Yeah. This place has been abandoned for so long that I've anything valuable out of the ceilings and floors and whatnot has all been taken. some of the glass pane windows that are left up there with the bullet holes and all. Now we're going to the roof. to this building that do not have any windows at all and a lot of artists have taken it upon themselves to paint the walls with their graffiti so we're gonna go check out some of the art so just follow us <laughs> acoustics in this floor yeah so uh, this floor all the material on the floor that you see right here that's all foam because this used to be refrigeration and if you look up it's decaying the paints chipping there's so much rust and if you look over there that's actually the only wood I have found in the building that's still intact that header is impressively designed and those wood walls so we're gonna come back when we have 
proper attire because I have pumas on, but just a little glimpse into what's inside. This is probably the least rabid floor, but still, as you can see, it's fucked. So let's go on up to the roof.